Welcome in this session we will see what is a PG collector and how it can be useful for the data collection and analysis for a running PostgreSQL instance. So what you need to do is uh, the PostgreSQL uh, data, uh, the PG underscore collector uh, tool is already attached in this uh, tutorial and you can download it uh, from here. Please remember that you need to have a subscription in case you wanted to use uh, courses.emaildeskills.com and what you need to do is I have a running PostgreSQL instance. I'll log into PSQL and once you log into that the way to to execute this script is uh, I have already transferred pg underscore collector dot SQL script in in slash TMP and this is the way you have to to execute it the way you execute the SQL statement in Postgre uh, the SQL file the same way you have to execute it as well it has n number of SQL uh, commands inside it and once you execute it it is going to uh, let me see where it is as of now Okay, this is the file and what I will do is psql slash i slash tmp and you need to give the location and once you execute it, it is going to be executed like this and uh, you will see a generated file in this format uh, pg underscore uh, collector postgre and uh, the output is .html. So what I have done is I'll, I have already transferred it from the the uh, Postgre instance, which is on an EC2 instance, to my local system, and it looks like this. So on the top, you can see uh, that it is PG host name. It is going to to display, and it is the uh, data directory where it is going to where the the base location. Then you have the version and uh, I have, uh, this is the primary instance of my uh, streaming replication. So it is showing it as DB, which is in the read write mode. If you have it for uh, uh, replica, it is going to show you that it is read only. The date it is going to show when the it was started, uptime uh, to which uh, DB you have connected and executed the script. So I have connected it to Postgre database. So it is going to show me that database version. It is going to, to show you the database version as well as the operating system uh, details as well. In the next section, it is going to show you the list of the databases. By default, these are available over here. Other than PEG Bench, these are the three default uh, once you will be able to see and one good thing is it is going to show you for the size as well uh, the table spaces uh, where it is located so and apart from that it is going to show you the database name uh, uh, the template and uh, the frozen x id as well in case you are touching that if I click to the database size, it is going to show you what is the different uh, database size available. Uh, it, is it is going to show you the index size. So in terms of the information, huge information is available over here. So if I go back and check the PGS state underscore statement extension, it will show you whether it is uh, installed or not and what are the different parameters which are enabled. So it is going to show you as, uh, as uh, uh, that as well. PG audit extension, if you have enabled it, it is going to show. In my case, it is not. Uh, if I click this, it is going to show me that uh, you know, PG underscore audit extension is not enabled. The only uh, enabled, uh, this one is PG underscore stat underscore statements. And if you see the background process is not uh, not uh, very important for us as of now but it is going to show you that as well wall center in this case is important this is just to show that uh, replication streaming replication is working on it and uh, the basic information if you wanted to know the partition tables exist or not it is going to show you over here in my case there is no partition table so it is not going to show then you have pg underscore hpa dot conf if you see this it is going to show you something like this so these are the default entries which are available and uh, just a couple of entries i have used for the replication purpose so it is going to show you that as well so it is a good 
uh, information which is available triggers you can see and it is not going to show me anything because there is nothing enabled for for uh, my case dv parameters this is another important information you can see uh, the information related to auto vacuum and there are several others so whatever you are interested in, instead of finding it through uh, postgresql.conf you will be able to see all the details over here vacuum and statistics which is very very important for performance tuning so these are uh, uh, displayed over here so a very good uh, html format and it is good to have then uh, some of the important information which is related to the replication so you can see that uh, the replication uh, detail is available over here <coughs> excuse me so uh, the replication slot information the what type of uh, uh, replication it is and uh, how much it is uh, lagging behind that information is also available over here public schema it is also go going to show you that uh, duplicate index is pg config in terms of the extension if you wanted to see by default uh, it is going to show me the pg uh, pl pg sql which is by default but this is the one which we have uh, installed so it is going to show you that as well so if you go to some of the important information it is related to the session and connection info so it is it is going to show you so by default it has 100 connections allowed as of now there is just one connection so you will be able to see that active and inactive connection it is going to show you it is just one active connection which is related to the replication user so it is going to show you that as well if you see the public schema details it is going to show you the public schema how many indexes tables or views are available in that it is going to show you that as well it is going to show you the invalid indexes access uh, privileges stamp tables foreign key without in, uh, indexes table size these are important parameters memory settings this is good to have it over here these are the effective cache size uh, which is twice of the uh, which is 50 percent of the ram uh, in my case it is uh, uh, the size is uh, 4 gb and uh, you can see it is uh, uh, it is uh, it is available over here shared buffer information is also available over here it is just uh, 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 default value which is 128 MB maintenance work memory it is also 64 MB work memory 4 MB by default which is available so you it is going to show you uh, the huge page uh, by default it is set to try if it is available and it is giving you good good information so it is going to be present over here as well and SSL it is going to show you if it is enabled uh, table space info uh, fragmentation which is again uh, very much related to your uh, performance tuning so you can see those details are available over here these are the uh, default schema related information which are there in the uh, postgres so these you can see over here i don't have the user data too much over here but it is going to show you uh, the bloating and other information and what all needs the uh, the vacuuming so it looks like there is a lot of information which can be used so it's also suggestive to have uh, it put it in the cron tab and you can use it uh, as on a required basis in case uh, you find it very useful you it, you it is it is good to to apply in your environment so the script is already attached over here you can see that uh, pg underscore collector dot sql in case you wanted to go just look for the original uh, the github repository and you will be able to download the uh, the updated version in case it comes uh, for now i believe uh, this is more than enough and uh, just go and uh, put it in your environment try to execute and see the inf important information and a lot of useful information is available which is good for your environment i hope uh, it is going to help and uh, thanks for watching it